Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a fully automated trading bot using the TrendSpider platform in just a couple of minutes. This used to be something that you'd had to be a programmer to do, right? This was out of reach for most normal traders because most traders are not computer software engineers, right? We are traders. So what we did is we built an easy way to go straight from a back-tested strategy into a fully automated, forward-tested trading bot in just a matter of clicks. So I'm gonna show you how that works. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the strategy tester. This opens a dialog at the bottom of my screen that lets me configure my back test. I'm gonna set this up to be very simple. I'm gonna make it a simple moving average cross strategy. So we're gonna click add parameter here. We're gonna select an indicator condition and we're gonna pull a simple moving average into it. And then we're gonna select the operator, which is crossed up, select indicator again and select simple moving average. We're now gonna adjust this to be something uh, that might actually be a strategy. So we're gonna make it a five period SMA crosses up through a 15 period SMA. Very simple. Whenever the five period SMA crosses up through the 15, the strategy will now open a position. Next, we're gonna define our exit criteria. It's gonna be the exact opposite. We're gonna go with a, a simple moving average crossing down through another simple moving average. And we're gonna make the periods on these the same. So it's gonna be a five crossing down through a 15. Now we've configured our basic technical conditions and these can be anything that you want. You can really, really be uh, uh, do whatever you want with this. It's very, very flexible. We're now gonna add a couple of other exit conditions. We're gonna add a stop loss and we're gonna make that a 2% stop loss. And we're also gonna add a take profit and we're gonna leave that at 5%. And now we're gonna run the strategy and see what happens using real market historical data if we were to trade this way on this particular symbol. And you know, I'm cheating a little bit because I've tested this before, but it's really, really easy to find strategies. You just play with them and experiment until you find something you like. So now we're looking at the strategy and we can see that this does make sense on this symbol, on this time frame. Buy and sell, which is blue, would have outperformed buy and hold, which is this white line at the bottom. So we can see very clearly that this strategy might have some alpha. So what do we do with this from here? Well, now we're gonna click on this little button that says launch as trading bot. When we open this, it'll give us a dialog box that lets us configure the bot. So we can give it a name, example TNA 30 min bot. We can also uh, select a strategy. We've already built a strategy, so we're gonna go with that one. We can customize a time period, but we've got a time period already in here, so we're gonna go with that one as well. Next, we're gonna tell the bot what to do when an entry or exit signal occurs. This is really, really simple. First, I'm gonna have it let me know via text message. I'm gonna leave SMS checked. I'm also gonna check email. So it's now gonna send me an email every time an entry or an exit occurs in this strategy. Finally, we're gonna tell it to connect to an outside system in this case, we're going to use TrendSpider's signal stack order router so that it can place an order in a brokerage account whenever the conditions in the strategy trigger. You can see how easy this is, right? All I do is I copy and paste a webhook URL from the system where I want to send the command, and then I copy and paste the webhook payload, which is a string of text that tells it what to do. This string says very simply, symbol is TNA, quantity is a single share, and the action is buy. I'm gonna copy and paste that to the other side and change the word buy to sell to make a sell signal. Now, anytime this strategy, when it's being played live, has an entry or exit signal, it will send this command to SignalStack. This command will tell SignalStack to connect to the brokerage account I have connected on the other end and place an actual order in that account. You can see it's very, very simple. You don't have to be a programmer to do this. Next, I'm gonna scroll down in this dialog and I'm gonna configure what to do in the event that this bot triggers uh, uh, a trade, right? So um, what to do if this bot has, triggers a trade and has an error that occurs, right? So first thing I can do is I can configure the notifications. If I'm just gonna leave it at critical only, but if you wanna get a little bit more notification, if you want the system to spam you with every decision it makes, you can change this to verbose and it will do that. Next, I'm gonna leave these all default, but just to show you what we can change, you can tell the system to retry webhooks if they fail. You can tell it what to do in the event that a webhook fails, like an entry or exit does not go through after the retries. And you can also tell it what to do in the event that when the bot starts, it should already be in a position. I'm gonna leave these all by default, but you obviously could change these to fit whatever strategy, whatever approach that you want. So now we have this bot configured. I'm now gonna click Create Bot. It's gonna check the strategy and now I'm done. 
That is literally it. The strategy now lives in my sidebar here. You can see it uh, as TNA 30 minute example TNA. If I click the little info thing on it, it's gonna tell me it's active, but it's not in a position yet. And that's it. I just set it and forget it. The system is gonna operate this bot for me in the background. Anytime a signal occurs, it's gonna process that signal. It's gonna send that webhook. It's gonna let me know. And now I can step away from my desk and go about my life because I've created a strategy, I've planned my trades, and now I'm gonna trade the plan so there's nothing for me to do by hand. Hopefully this video gives you an idea as to how easy it is to build an automated strategy in TrendSpider. A bot does not have to place trades, by the way. You can use it to post to Discord, to post to Twitter, to add a line to a Google spreadsheet. There are tons of integrations with it and any system on the web that can accept a webhook can be connected to a bot and that is pretty much every system online. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you guys have fun playing with this new capability. With great power comes great responsibility. Use your powers for good and have a great day. Take it easy.